Good morning. Welcome to Hill Canyon Treatment Plan. Uh, this is quite a, a momentous occasion, a landmark occasion here in the history of the plants. 54 years old, and the, for the first time ever, we can say that Hill Canyon Treatment Plan is completely 100% energy self-sufficient. I think that's yes. All of the energy needs are generated right here on site. And you know, it was uh, four years ago that the South and Oak City Council, led by uh, Jackie Irwin, former member Jackie Irwin, uh, challenged Hill Canyon Treatment to become energy self-sufficient. And through the use of solar power, there's a huge solar array outside, and the cogen facility, that, that uh, goal has been accomplished, 100% self-sufficiency. Uh, you know, just a little bit of history on the plant. Uh, back in the 1950s, of course, there was no Hill Canyon treatment plant. All the, the few homes that were here in the ranches relied on a septic tank system. And it was the Jans Corporation in the 60s that bought this site, wisely doing so because the plant operates almost exclusively by gravity, which is a very inexpensive way to operate a plant. And since then, over the decades, the plant's grown into a state-of-the-art facility that can process up to 14 million gallons of water a day and sends 9 or 10 million gallons of clean, pure, fresh water into Cayagas Creek for the water users down, downstream. It's a, it's a great asset to the city, too, because the plant generates $1,250,000 in revenue for the city each year, and it does it through water sales, through waste treatment, and through uh, on-site filming. They film movies up here, believe it or not. You know, it's a self-sufficient, it's an environmentally friendly plant, and it even created a, uh, a wildlife wetlands habitat downstream a little bit, which is a, a great refuge for our wildlife. So environmentally friendly, and as Chuck was telling me, tours happen up here all the time. Groups come up, kids come up of all ages, so it's, it's truly, uh, it's the Disneyland, shall I say, of uh, water treatment plants here in Southern California. You know, it, it, it's really one more example of the reliable, cost-effective, efficient, essential services that this city provides as part of its overall infrastructure. It supports residents, it supports businesses, charges low rates to do it, which I'm so happy to be able to report. So the community can go about the business of prospering in this premier city that we all live in. So don't take Hill Canyon, Hill Canyon Treatment Plant for granted. It's a great community asset. Be proud of this plant. And let me, let's give a big round of applause to Chuck Rogers and his staff that have run it so well over these past decades. You know, at least once in everybody's career, you should get a goal that is just insanely hard to finish. And for us, this was it. You know, when Jackie four years ago said, you know, let's make this 100% renewable, I was going like, I'm gung-ho, I'm a happy guy. I'm going, of course we can do this, of course we can do it. But what a struggle it's been. And, and you know, great testament to, you know, our city council that they would set a goal like that because there aren't many places in the world that actually do this. This is an extraordinary accomplishment and it was, it was in large part because our city council believed in us to have that. All I can say is we create a ton of renewable energy here. You should like that. I, I think it's a good thing to do. And, and since then, we've had 39 million kilowatt hours of energy that we've created. So in seven and a half years, we've created enough energy here for five entire years of that time to be completely off the grid. Everything we do, everywhere you look, you're going to find something that's been optimized. We didn't get here in any one particular direction. You know, we took the, the principles that the city council put forth for us conservation, optimization, and renewable energy generation to make this day come true. And you know, why do we do this? You know, we want to keep our rates low. We know that. We owe that to our citizens to do the best job we possibly can here at Hill Canyon. And I, I'd like to think we do it every day. And we want to engage the private sector in their specific skill sets. It's so easy not to be open in this world, especially in public service, and, and not invite great people into your world. And that's what we've done here. And it's just wonderful because people find a way to Hill Canyon. What we've been able to do is we've been able to take raw, wet biogas, which is not the easiest thing to deal with, clean it up, process it, 
and run it through uh, generators to be able to produce not only the, the electricity that helps offset this entire facility, but also produces heat, heats the digesters, heats the administration building behind you. It's having a common vision that allows us as a private entity and uh, the city of Thousand Oaks as a public entity to work together. And having that common goal and that common vision to be able to do all this. What does this mean for the city? Well, financially it means a lot for the city, and Chuck has, has explained that. Uh, but what it means for the community is, I ran some numbers here, it's 1,659 acres of forest. It's equivalent to taking uh, 1,037 cars off the road every year. And it, it reduces uh, the amount of carbon emissions by uh, just over uh, 1,600 metric tons. That's every single year. So it definitely has its advantages for not just the city of Thousand Oaks, but everybody here in California and throughout the country. Thank you very much, Tom. As you can see, this has been a monumental effort to get to where we are now. And I can quantify the savings that the city is achieving uh, with this energy self-sufficiency. And I believe it's about $300,000 a year, and it will only grow over time. So it was a major benefit to the citizens of, of Thousand Oaks. We are so honored to be here today on behalf of Assemblymember Irwin to present this um, certificate of recognition to the city of Thousand Oaks and the Hill Canyon Wastewater Treatment Plant. Um, we know what an important and tremendous achievement that this really is. I guess we can stand. This is an example of what can be done. And today, we're celebrating that, that it's the uh, end result uh, of that uh, direction from, from council. The tremendous public-private uh, public partnership, it's not just the local government that did it, it's not just the private sector, it was everybody working together. Today is an example of one of the components that makes up a premier city. Mayor made reference to that earlier. So that, those are my comments. Thank you for being here to be part of this day. It's a significant day and um, the best is really yet to come for this community. Thank you.